Herdsmen discovered in Yorbalan forest as from Monday will be in trouble Sunday Goho. The Yoruba activist and the convener of the Yoruba nation rally throughout Yoruba land Sunday Goho has issued another ultimatum to the Flani marauders that have been staying in the Yoruba land forest as he claims that they should vacate the forest before next Monday. According to Sunday Goho, this time around he is not joking with anyone um, as he has vowed to make sure that they will that any marauders in the Yoruba land forest will be seriously dealt with. According to BBC News Yoruba, he stated this in one of his recent videos. Sonny Goho continues with his words that many of the people who knew him know that if he plans to do something, he will surely do it. So the marauders should prepare to fight him or vacate the forest to prevent further pressure. He made it clear that he is fully prepared to begin to begin entering all of your balance forest because the attacks at Gongon show that the that there are a large number of marauders in your balance forest and thus he's ready to apprehend them and collect them or collect all of their weapons from them. He stated that this is the period in which he will show them the power that exists in your land. He now warned the Nigerian youth, especially the Yoruba, to deviate from the act of disrespecting the Yoruba elders. He said the Yoruba culture is reserved. That is why most other Nigerians give respect to the Yorubas, so the culture must remain preserved. He also stated that the Nigerian youth, particularly Yoruba, should refrain from fighting the police, as doing so is an act of propagating thuggery, and of course it is not um, about hooli- hooliganism. He concluded that he has never collected a dime from any Nigerian because the course he's on is not about collecting money. And if if anyone can prove him to have collected money from anyone, such a person should come out. Um all right. Again, no offense to anyone who's supporting him or supporting this man. He's been saying a lot of things, but I think it's a lack of action for me at this point. Because you say you do so, you you say you're gonna do a lot of things, you know the people hype you up to be this character, I guess, and then the time that okay fine you'd assume okay take this opportunity and show your skill or show yourself, you you don't really do that, and it's like okay fine I'm not trying to undermine the power that you know people say he has, or the power that he thinks he has, um it's just. When you you because again you've given too many ultimatums. These people will not take you seriously if you're giving ultimatums every single time. Like, like, why, you know, um, again because his plight is basically a representative of a lot of Yoruba people. So again, the way he's you know the way he's talking, his tone is not it's not far fetched. Of course, it is a place from anger and stuff, and you know, it's like you can't keep come to your bad people's land and do the most of course but again if you if you threaten uh, yeah i think the most appropriate word is threaten to be honest if you threaten to do certain things and then you don't show up or pull up with the how do i describe it or pull up with the extraness of it all <laughs> um that you, you say you do um then i guess that's it i guess that's just it um People won't take you seriously. And I guess that's what we're seeing here. Um, someone here says, as a comment, take it easy, let secret agencies do their jobs. You are taking yourself far. All those pressuring you will not be around to you find... Oh, they will be around till you find yourself in Kujay prison. Um, <laughs> and then somebody replied to it in, you know, in sort of agree agreement saying don't mind him um it's only when i get secret that i will enter the bush all right um only talking no bite mobilize your men and strike then will acknowledge your seriousness uh someone here says yes the rap people are cowards with the exception of few they are good at washing down anything that is brave 
only to dampen his spirit. Ugh. I think it's just so rude. I'm not going to read this comment because it's just like, okay, fine. Can't just put a character trait and then blame it or plaster it on a whole on a whole ethnic group. Like, watch yourself. Your bad people are cowards. Like, what? <laughs> Who asked you? Um... Somebody else says attacks are implied in attacks. Yes, the Uber population is too high. It needs to be reduced. Excuse me? Um, okay, let's not. I don't know. Because again, you give comments like this, but then you just leave it there. Like you leave us open to interpretation. We don't know what you're trying to say. Because again, this comments like this is highly offensive. What do you mean the Yoruba population the Yoruba population is too high? It needs to be reduced. What are you insinuating? Huh? Uh, someone here says God will be with you. Nigeria secretly has killer headsmen and bandits among them, just like Governor Bejatan complained that Boko Haram in his government. Okay, the IGP of Agwa is given order. Uh, someone here says people are dying. Are you aware? You are strong. Can you do what? Do you? Can you do what you want to do about the people? Innocent man and woman. Okay, please. Uh, someone says, it's like the lie of Tinubu that ushered in the unfit Buhari. It will, <laughs> it's also people like the neighborhood that will chase them out. Well, if you think so, fine. But please give us proof. Because right now, I just want results. Even though, yes, we've been through a lot and it's just like, okay, fine. In some ways, like, can you just be realistic with what you want to achieve? But again, I just do not have time to start trusting anybody again. And they say, oh yeah, we trust this person's character. Uh-uh. We want proof. We want consistency with your character and what you say. And your actions as well. So it's like, it's as simple as that, to be honest. So like, I, I don't think that, um, I don't think that, I, like, listen, until you start showing that, because again, I think Nigerians have just gone to a place where we have tr- deep trust issues. <laughs> Like and it, are you surprised? No, we want someone that's consistent. We don't have time to start saying, "Oh, let's 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 get to know him and then understand his character." Yep. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Let Let's see what you can do, and your results will show for itself, and then that will determine if we, you know, value you or take you seriously or not. Um. Uh, I seriously advise that Igboho Baba Yoruba, uh, should strictly follow Buhari's order. Uh, shoot at sight, it will make them vacate totally. And I think not even try to make this like a marginalization thing, but let's see how it goes with them. Because let's just see how it goes with them, how the government reacts to them, if anything should happen. Because again, they're taking too much time. Like, I don't think there's any major thing that's happening in the West that's like, oh, oof, okay, the people are not here to joke. Like, for this, for the East, oof, these people, they, I mean, we know they're not here to joke, but then they do prove it. So I need to see that same energy from the West. But what you think about it is the comment section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.